Okay. Before we do anything, I want to reply back to this NCS. I want you to rant back about me. Not in comments, but in a video. Okay? But, uh, today we're going to be ranting about some of the things I've been keeping inside about NCS. Oh, boy. Let's start with today, shall we? So today I was on Magenta Stream as Clover. Now, I accidentally spilled the beans that Retro was a part of Clout Gang. NCS flipped out. And she said she's going to harass poor Retro. Me, defending Retro, I said, uh, no you're not. You're not going to be harassing her. And NCS said, you aren't going to stop me. Jay. Now, I hated this, because she said my real name out to 50, no, 30 plus people. So I blurted out her real name. I don't care. I am going to stop you. Faith. And now this made me a little bit upset. But that did not make me the most upset. She's totally obsessed over Retro. But when one thing's off about Retro that she does not like, she'll attack Retro for that. She'll do whatever she can in her willpower to destroy Retro's life or try to get Retro out of that thing. And you know what? Personally, I feel bad. Why do you think I've been trying my best to make gifts for Retro? Trying to get them out of their depressed cage because you know what? I've been there. Now, NCS also on a chat said she was mentally insane. If someone was mentally insane, they would not be going out on the internet. Hey guys, I'm mentally insane. Look at me. No, they'd probably keep it private. If they were mentally insane. You know what? I have anxiety and depression, but I don't go around on streams saying, Hey guys, look, I'm going to cut myself. Ew, ew. Oh my god. Please, notice me. I'm going to kill myself if you don't notice me. Oh my gosh, this person that I love does not like me back. I'm going to go kill myself. Please, do not try to stop me. Ooh, woo, five minutes later. Notice me. Please, stop me from cutting. What kind of thing is... What kind of logic is that? Oh gosh. What kind of logic is that? Not very good logic. Now, not all clouts are bad. Not all of them are so-called evil sadists, evil future murderers, like all of you think they're not. It's just a club. It's just a club that might rant about Magenta here and there, but nothing too big. We would never send death threats to Magenta. We would never go too far to Magenta. The most we'd do is say, hey, Clout Gang 1. That's the most we'd ever do. But you guys are acting like it's such a big deal, especially NCS. NCS said I was not trusted all because I was a part of Clout Gang. You know what? That made me angry. Just because I was a part of a club, I was not accepted to be anyone's friend. That's like saying, you're friends with this person? You're not my friend anymore. Get out. This is basically what NCS was doing. You know what? That hurt me. So why do you think I'm sitting here ranting right now? Another thing that NCS does, she goes online and says, Hey guys, I'm super depressed. I'm going to be leaving for the week. Okay. I don't care. But then like three days later, she comes back. Well, I thought you were going to be gone for the week, I say. Nah, I decided to change my mind. She does that every time. She says she's going to leave for the week, the month, the year, but she always comes back. Like, two days or even a few hours later. That gets me frustrated. 
If you're going on hiatus, and you're going to be announcing it, at least do the hiatus. She's kind of emotionally manipulating Retro, I feel like. Like, the video that she made with her, like, children and stuff. I feel like that was her way of trying to get Retro to love her. Feel pity for her to love her. You know, that's kind of messed up. Now, NCS, if you say you're going to kill yourself because of this, or going on a hiatus for this, and you come back, I'm going to be really angry. Now, I remember one time where I genuinely took NCS seriously. I remember one time she said she was going to kill herself, and I was bawling. I was crying. I was sobbing, begging her to not do it. Begging her to please don't kill yourself, please. I was begging, crying. I was on the floor. I could not sleep or eat for days. But then she comes back perfectly fine, acting like nothing happened. That made me angry. I harmed myself. I destroyed myself because I thought she was seriously dead. I thought my friend killed herself. And you know what? That's very emotionally horrible to hear. I thought she was gone. You know, all my other friends, like Star, they thought they were gone too. And Star was not... Star, she didn't even know NCS very well, but she was crying over it. Want to know why I know that? Because I'm friends with Star in real life. That's why I know it. All this emotional manipulation you've been doing is not okay. It's hurting not only yourself, but others around you. And you don't know that. You act like it's nothing. People, you say you're going to go on hiatus, but you never do it. You try to get Retro to love you. But when Retro says, uh, I'm uncomfortable with this, you break on them. And how do you think that makes Retro feel? And then you rant about Retro, saying, Retro, you're a dumbass little 15, depressed 15-year-old that does not care about other people's feelings. No, it's not like that. You are not seeing retro side of things. Because I can perfectly see yours. But I can also perfectly see retros as well. And you know what? Retro is in a lot more pain than you've ever been in. I know that. Because I've saw it. I know. I was bent in that deep dark hole where I did not want to do anything. I was laying in bed. I could not get out of my bed for school. I skipped so many days because I was too depressed on a, to get out of bed. You think that made me feel any better, more confident about myself? No, it did not. Now this is getting a little bit personal, but I've made two rants about you right now. Because one of my first videos was a rant about you. Because I was seriously seeing that much problems. And now you say you're going to cut yourself online. Don't do that. I used to take you seriously, but now I'm thinking you're kind of being an attention seeker. Now, I will not deny that you were going through something. I believe you are going through something, but just don't share it on the internet. And don't use others as an excuse. You think that makes anyone feel better on both sides? It does not make you feel better. It does not make anyone else feel better. And you think putting retro down is going to make them love you? Of course not. You call retro names like dumbass little 15 year old that does not even care about others' feelings. Retro has a phobia of relationships. And if you truly cared about retro, you'd respect that. That's the problem. It's it's just... I feel like... That's the problem. And I remember one video I saw of you killing Retro. Or Retro is... This, or Paper Cut. But it was Retro. You were referring to Retro. You slit Retro's throat in that vid. Well, not really, but... You use their OC and you're slitting their OC's throat. That was fairly disturbing. And do you think that's going to get Retro to love you? 
Just think about that for a second. You're harassing Retro, and then you turn around, and you think Retro loves you, but when Retro says no, you break on them. Rinse, repeat. Rinse, repeat. Retro says, sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Can we be friends again? But you don't accept it. And then you turn around, say that you love Retro, make a video that, oh my gosh, my OC's getting married to Retro. And Retro says they're uncomfortable with this. Then you break on them. Make a rant video. Rinse, repeat. Rinse, repeat. I see it day after day after day after day after day. You know what? That I feel like that's emotionally breaking retro. They don't want to be in a relationship with you, and that's fine. But they want to be your friend. That, to be honest, if you're doing that to me, I just stop it right there. Would not be your friend. I just block you and leave. But retro has the patience of a saint, and is forgiving you time after time after time of this emotional manipulation. Now, I'm seeing this because I found a real socio. I've never told anyone that, but he's been pushing me to lockers. He's been hitting me. Sometimes I'll even come home with bruises. But I'll keep long sleeves to just, you know, hide the fact that he's doing that. And you want to know why that kid has been bullying me? Because, oh my god, sorry about that. Technical difficulties. Want to know why he's doing that? He's doing it because I love a girl. And that's full yandere fuel right there. Oh. Now this is getting me very mad. But right now, we're not ranting about that boy. We're ranting about NCS. Or you, if you're watching this. Faith. Now, I very much dislike what you've been doing. I don't hate you as a person. I just hate what you've been doing. For me, I do not hate other people. I hate what they do. That's me. That's the real me. And right now, I want a response back. A rant video about me. Now notice how I did not call you names. I did not say to kill yourself. I did not say fuck you or anything like that. I took this like a mature person. I did not say any insults to you. I am just saying what you're doing. The truth can be hurtful sometimes. The honest truth can be a brutal one, I'll tell you. No, I want a video back. Firestar, signing out.